Now the next step is to connect the dots. We will create some fields of play in our map by clicking here. I've gone ahead and added a few more dots into the map so we can make a meaningful field of play. To add a field of play, you simply click on Add a Field of Play. And you want to click on groupings or clusters of dots that seem to go together. For example, CFOs and CEOs seem to go together. And Colombia, Peru, Mexico seem to go together. And then you also seem to see industrial products and support services going together. You also see just in time and breakthrough materials, maybe factory, and maybe franchises, industrial associations, and maybe subscription pricing goes together. Now we'd, let's give names to these clusters that we created. For example, CFOs and CEOs could be called C levels. Now in terms of delivery, this could be Latin America. In terms of the offering, this looks like industrial services, products and services, industrial offerings. And the production seems to be uh, breakthrough processes. Breakthrough processes. And this cluster seems to be a sort of subscription based partner model. Let's add this field to play and we'll call it Latin America just in time. You have to click on Done, and it'll add this field of play to your list. Now, what is this? Latin America Just in Time, we will target sea levels delivered through Latin America by offering industrial offerings differentiated through breakthrough processes sold as subscription-based partner models. When you hover over these, you'll see that they highlight on the left. For more information on fields of play, you should watch the Consulting Methods course video on this topic. Let's go back to our campaign, and now we will develop a business concept. Adding business concepts is also very straightforward. You click on Add Concept, and let's look at, for example, frugal with tight flash cash flow CFOs. Let's deliver to them in Colombia, Peru, and Mexico through our distributors. Let's offer them industrial products and support services using a just-in-time method. And we're going to offer them subscription pricing or product-as-service pricing. And we're going to call this monthly equipment. You click on Done and it adds the business concept to the list. What is monthly equipment? We will target frugal and tight cash flow CFOs delivering to them in Colombia, Peru, Mexico uh, through our distributors, offering them support services and industrial products differentiated by just-in-time and sold as a product as service pricing. Now that we've connected these dots we really need to spend a little bit more time thinking about what this means. So we can see a summary of our fields of play by clicking on connect and of our business concepts. But we really want to go a step further and develop this monthly equipment concept. So we click on develop and it'll take us to a two-page template which will force us to think about this. What is monthly equipment? It's getting all the benefits without the heavy initial investment. You need to go through and you need to answer what is this offering about? 
who really needs it? You can talk about the CFOs with a tight budget. You can talk about what else is out there, what alternatives are there, why is this unique, why competitors can't copy this idea, what will the impact of this be? You should go to the next page and think about the key innovation choices and the insight around this. The insight is really you can offer equipment as a service. Now this is maybe not too insightful, maybe other people are doing it, but maybe for this company it is insightful because they didn't realize that before. And you have to develop the key components, the key innovation components of this idea. What's really the breakthrough about this idea? Is it the process just in time? Well, probably not, so let's get rid of that. Is it the offering? Well, maybe that's not that breakthrough either. But this product as a service pricing really is the breakthrough. So we will talk about product as a service pricing and write a bunch of sentences describing why this is important. You'll also want to upload an image to convey the idea of this. Let's put this picture of just in time. And you also want to put something up for your logo. Let's assume that this is our logo. And now you want to keep on adding stuff until the progress bar is at 100%. But now we have a better idea, a two-pager that we can take to the client and say, this is what this concept is really about. The client can visualize it and see why this is really a breakthrough idea. The last step we will do is prioritize these business concepts. If you click on Converge, you can see there's a concept prioritization map. And you can see two concepts. I added another one that, called Eco Products. Uh, you can hover on them to see the detail of what the concept is about. And you'll want to mark them, rank them in terms of their market attractiveness and strategic fit. Now, you don't want to use just your gut feeling here. You want to think about the real numbers here, how many people are actually in this market, what market share could you achieve. In terms of strategic fit, you want to see how, how does this align with the objectives of the company. But overall, you can come up with a ranking in terms of market attractiveness and strategic fit for your co concepts and display on the graph uh, a view. We see here that Eco Products is probably a better fit than the monthly equipment at this particular point in time for this company. And that's it. At this point, you will be able to show robust concepts to the client. They will be able to go in and see your whole work on the software tool. Thank you very much.